Now to the latest on the war in the Middle East. At this hour, fears are growing for civilians in Gaza as Israel prepares for a ground invasion at any moment. Aid workers say conditions in Gaza have already deteriorated with food, fuel, and medical supplies running low. This as the death toll on both sides continues to grow. The Gaza Health Ministry says at least 2,600 Palestinians have been killed, and Israeli officials say more than 1,400 have died since the attack began eight days ago. 30 Americans are now confirmed dead. CBS 2's Bradley Blackburn here again with us tonight with the newest developments. Bradley? Jessica, an estimated 500 to 600 American citizens are believed to be in Gaza, and the White House says it is focused on getting them safe passage into Egypt. But so far, the only real route out through the Rafah border crossing has stayed closed. Just over a week into the war, Israel says deadly airstrikes on Gaza are designed to hit maximum terrorists and minimum civilians. Israel ordered residents to move south for their safety as IDF troops prepare for an expected ground invasion. With the humanitarian crisis starting to sweep across Gaza, people are lining up for water. Food, fuel, and medical supplies are also in dangerously short supply after Israel cut off deliveries. The United States will work with Israel, the United Nations, Egypt, Jordan, and other countries uh, to do all that we can to ensure the protection of civilians and that those civilians have access to the basic necessities of food and water, of shelter, of medicine. At the same time, Hamas's rocket barrages show no signs of letting up forcing people in Tel Aviv and across Israel to run for cover. U.S. warships are standing by in the region in case U.S. military support is needed and to serve as a warning to prevent the conflict from expanding. Not to provoke anyone, but to, to send a very clear message of, of deterrence that no one should do anything that widens this conflict in any way or that furthers aggression against Israel from any other direction. For Sunday night's 60 Minutes, Scott Pelley asked President Biden whether the U.S. can take on wars in Ukraine and the Middle East at the same time. We can take care of both of these and still maintain our overall international defense. We have the capacity to do this, and we have an obligation to. Meanwhile, Israeli leaders say they're doing whatever they can to rescue hostages Hamas forced into Gaza during its horrific attack on Israel. Israel's military says more than 600,000 Palestinians have evacuated to the south so far, but that leaves many, many others who have stayed in place in and around Gaza City despite warnings of an imminent Israeli attack. Jessica. Bradley, thank you.